I always imagined what it would be like if aliens attacked our planet or some unknown creature like Godzilla started attacking. In all those scenarios, I would dream that I would be the hero saving everyone with epic action sequences. But I do know I'm too chicken to do any of that. And that's why video game exists so that I can feel that I'm a hero. The same goes into this small little fella over here who can grow into this holy shit you're an ugly kind of fella. So what happened? Well you know, evolution. The quote part of this game is evolution. Yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt in two videos. What's the big deal? Is that a big deal? No, it's not. You know that thing we read in school about how we were monkeys at one point in time and we have evolved into humans? Yep, something like that are these creatures. So this game is called Eternal Cylinders and I got to play the demo of the game. And in this game, a huge cylinder is rolling in the planet and destroying everything in its path. And you are the chosen one to stop this. See, that's what I was talking about of becoming a hero in games. He is the one. The first time I played, I was like, how in the world will this tiny creature save that big cylinder from rolling? Help me! Help me! I mean, I'm not discriminating in any shape or form, but they don't have any powers until I found that they do. They can power on these towers, which are just standing there. Almost felt like they were made for these cylinders to be stopped. These towers are really strong and can stop these cylinders from moving and even power the cylinders off. So after that, what remains is you exploding a small amount of land in front of you, where you will run away from these creatures who try to kill you. So yeah, it's more like surviving because everyone wants to kill you. Why guys, why? Why do we have to do this? There's a fucking cylinder destroying the planet. Oh yeah, I forgot, these animals, not humans. The best part about this game is that you can suck with your trunk for food items that you can eat, but there are some other items that can evolve you into something else. One of them gave me frog-like legs, so now I can jump higher. And another one gave me a power that can extract water from any food item I sucked in. I can say this creature has a lot of things that it can do. Need to choose the right pill and he is set on a journey. Since there are so many mutations, you can also have your friends who will do absolutely nothing other than running away and screaming from any other creature. But the cool thing is that you can assign each creature its own mutation. So one can store more items, one can turn food into water and so on. This is what I call team player and I've always been a team player. Except these guys do absolutely nothing, but they at least stick together. Oh, you can also explore underground caves to suck in some shiny materials that you can use to revive your friend who's dead or upgrade. And the best thing about upgrade is it applies to every single friend you have there with you. Oh, what about cylinders? Well, if you move past that small area that is protected by the tower, then a tower will break and cylinder gets turned on again and starts rolling. So now you need to start rolling and go to the next tower to turn that one on and stop the cylinder in its tracks. The more new areas you get to, the more new enemy types you see. Not only that, you can also meet your ancestors who sat in these chairs for too long and use that as an excuse to, oh, I'm too old now, but actually they cannot get off that chair because they sit in there and they're so lazy as fuck that they don't want to get up. Yeah, sometimes frustration happens when you're trying to survive. Oh, and things just get worse and worse when you find who is behind that cylinder. Oh, they are taller and oh my god, they are scarier. So if you're into survival games where you will survive alone and no one helps you, well then this game is for you. I really like the threat of the cylinder and how you being so small can only survive and find out ways to stop that cylinder from moving since there is no one else that can do that. Yeah, Millie Bobby Brown, this time actually there is no one else. Unlike you in Godzilla vs Kong, where it's actually Godzilla vs Kong. I don't even care who you are. Well, Eternal Cylinders is not out yet right now. It's only a demo that I got to play. And I'm very much excited to play this game because it's a very good made indie game made in Unreal Engine. And I would love to see what this game has to offer when it comes out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, leave a like. It really helps me out a lot. And also comment down below what you think about this review, this video. And also do not forget to subscribe for more reviews just like this, more game news. And speaking of game news, check out some older videos of mine where I talked about games such as Last of Us getting remastered and much more. You don't want to miss that one out.